Welcome back, Seth Bling here. In some of the recent snapshots for 1.8, Mojang has added some cool features, uh, like armor stands and no AI mobs, and you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I've done. I made some, well, basically sculptures. So the first one here, this is something I saw on Reddit, and this was kind of my first thing that I wanted to try out. So I uh, put a sword in a creeper's head. This is a no AI creeper and there's an armor stand here that's invisible. I'll show you later in the video how you can do this sort of thing uh, on your own, but for now let me just show you what I've done. Uh, this is my next sculpture. I call it blast, uh, <laughs> blast Mining. And you can see we've got kind of like a TNT cannon over here shooting an arc of TNT and I'm using a command block to create particles here. But the cool part is all of the exploding blocks outward and they're kind of in random directions. Looks looks almost like one of those animations that you would see uh, from one of those uh, animation YouTube channels. Uh, so the first one is something I got from Reddit and I saw today that there was a very successful post on Reddit inspired by uh, this build. I did this in a live stream so people got to see the build before this video came out and so today on Reddit there was a build a lot like this and the creator said it was inspired by, by me. So I get stuff from Reddit, but also, uh, you know, I inspire some Reddit posts too. So yeah, this looks pretty cool. I think you got some diamonds too, kind of flying out, and yeah, just frozen TNT. Looks pretty cool. Over here, next, I've created uh, like a little battle scene. So we've got me and Good with our swords interlocked, and I have my shield or banner, or whatever here. He's got he's dual wielding. He's got a gold sword in his left hand. Uh, of course, from behind, Chidi Nebris is leaping to strike Good, and I really like the positioning here and the legs, how they kind of look like they're flopping out, and uh, he's he left behind some goodies that just kind of fell out of his pockets, I guess. Uh, and then up here, Etho's ready to drop the anvil, he's just kind of positioning it, and he's got a sword on his back, which also looks pretty cool. And so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this fight scene. I think it looks really neat. And then over here, I've got uh, here's Notch pitching a pitching a fastball <laughs> to me, and I'm ready to try and hit it. Uh, I've got my stick and uh, my bat, whatever. And then here's home plate. So there's some really cool stuff you can do, and uh, I'll kind of show you a little bit about how it's done. So uh, this uses a lot of commands, but this is sur this is a uh, not survival. This is vanilla vanilla Minecraft. And let's see, let's uh, find a nice clear open area. So this uses the armor stands feature. So if I just summon an armor stand, here we go, we get an armor stand. Now normally uh, armor stands have gravity, so if I summon it up here, it's gonna fall down onto the ground, etc. Now, once we've got an armor stand, there's some cool things we can do with it. Uh, I'm gonna use the new entity data commands, and I'm going to use this weird text that is basically going to find an armor stand within uh, five blocks of me and it's going to do some entity data stuff. So we can do some things with this. Uh, since there is an armor stand within five blocks of me, I can I can turn on its show arms property by doing this and then it has arms. And now if we uh, give it something to hold in its hands, let's give it, uh, I don't know, a torch. So there's a torch, it's holding a torch in his hand. So you can you can give it other things by just right clicking. Uh, actually, let's try something. Um, well, I'll kind of show you, I guess, maybe how I did the, the sword thing. So let's put a sword in his hand. Now, uh, now there's some other properties you can do. You can do uh, uh, no base plate, and that'll turn off the base plate. You saw there was a base plate here. Turn it back on just for comparison and that's what I did for these guys I turned off their base plates but you will notice they still have the wooden arms there's no way to make artificial arms for armor stands so you can turn off its base plate you can also turn off gravity so you saw it fell when I summoned it so this guy now has no gravity so if I TP the guy uh, so I'm gonna use the same kind of commands Oops. Uh, and if I TP teleport it up by five blocks it'll just float in air and this is how you can position things by using the no gravity tag and I can even make it invisible and so that it only shows the items that it's wearing so there we go now it's invisible so now we've got a sword floating in midair 
And okay, so what can we do with this? Uh, well, there's a couple things we can, uh, let me turn it back visible so that we can see what's going on. You can change its rotation using the same command. This uh, entity, data, entity data command is really useful for this sort of thing. Um, so if I just use 0f, 0f, that means rotation of 0 on the x-axis, or about the x-axis, and 0 about the y-axis. And that's what it's already at. But if I uh, change this first property here, I can rotate it to different positions. There's 45 degrees, here's 180 degrees. And you can see it actually kind of has a has a good animation, but you see so you can uh, you can rotate the whole armor stand, but you can also rotate the individual parts. And that's you saw that over here, uh, I rotated, uh, I basically posed the legs and the arms. Um, the head is looking kind of down. You can see that more clearly on Etho up here. He's definitely looking down. And so to do that, I'm gonna come back over here. Um, let's actually give this guy a head. So if I want to give him a player head. I'm going to summon a head, uh, one head, so that's, that's what the one is for, three is for the data value for players, and then skull owner, and I can give it any player that I want. Um, let's use dinner bone. Uh, maybe I need, uh, not summon, give. <laughs> I'm supposed to use give here, not summon. So I'm going to give myself uh, a player head, yeah, I'm using the, the wrong syntax. It's skull. Give Seth Fling skull, one, three, skull owner, and then the name of the player. And there we go. So now I have um, Dinner Bone's head. I can put it on the armor stand by right clicking. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of useful to be able to see some of the position stuff. But now, okay, so let's go back to the entity data command in order to kind of position some of the things. So uh, there's a pose tag. So in here we can, we can give various uh, poses. So we'll use a head, and then I'm, you'll notice I'm using square brackets for this, for the uh, for the rotation things. So by default, it's at zero, 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 um, or it's close to that at least. But we can rotate it. So if I try, say, twenty zero zero, and the F here stands for float. Don't worry about it, but you need it. You need it if you're gonna if the command's gonna work. So I can rotate his head downward or upward. Let's put it back at zero. Um, I can rotate it left and right here it's 20 let's I can do it bigger values I can have his head facing backwards um, I can use negative values whatever so uh, I could uh, <laughs> if I set up a, a thing I could probably have his head rotating in a circle and it would look really creepy uh, you can also rotate uh, kind of tilting left and right so there's he's kind of like looking curious negative 20 uh, you could <laughs> You could do some really silly stuff. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not silly that silly with this particular head, but uh, and you can do combinations of them. So if I did like 20 and 20, it'll look down and to the right, etc. So you can do that with the head. Uh, you can also use other things like uh, right arm. That's the arm carrying the sword. I can rotate this 20f, 30f. 40f. I don't know. I'm just using kind of random values. You can see I'm moving, move, able to move the arm about by by doing this. 60. Let's do like negative 20 here. So he's holding up the sword now. I don't know. So yeah. So the the different things you can use are um, head, right arm, left arm, body, left leg, and right leg. So if I do uh, left leg, um, let's do 10, 10, 10, 0, 0. I can like move the move the left leg around 60 zero, zero. he's like about to kick a soccer ball I don't know uh, the body one looks pretty silly and you'll notice I can pose each of these independently so I don't have to have the whole command with all the rotations for everything uh, body is pretty silly though 40 let's try uh, yeah because <laughs> it detaches from the legs when you rotate the body so I'd recommend if you're gonna play around with the body and you want it to look like an actual player that you use just the middle one here because this one is, uh, the middle one is kind of the rotation of, uh, yeah, basically it's not going to detach from the legs. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and you could put armor and stuff on, on his parts. So, so that's how you position a, a, a body. And let's just give him a chest plate or something just to, ver to show you the what I'm talking about there. So you can give him the chest plate and whatever. And that's what I did with the guys in these sculptures. And then the last thing that I want to show you is how to do these blocks. And because they look kind of cool when they're on often random directions, they look like they've really been jumbled up. So 
to show you how to do that, I'm going to summon a new armor stand over here. So summon armor stand and um, need the three tildes here. Those are the position relative to the player. Uh, and then I'm going to give it no gravity. And here we are. Um, actually, so this guy, this is what I want, except I need him to be wearing uh, something on his head. So to give him something on his head, I'm going to use this equipment tag, two brackets, and then I'm going to have five of these empty squiggly brackets, except in the fifth one, I'm going to put an ID for a block. So you can use, say, diamond ore. Whoops. Whoops. And so now we can see we have an armor stand who's wearing diamond ore on his head. And this di diamond ore block is actually a little bit smaller than a regular diamond, block, uh, diamond ore block. So set block. Uh, you can kind of compare the size. It's just, uh, it's like maybe two thirds as big in each dimension. But anyway, so I've got this guy. He's got a diamond block on his head. I can, I can just make, um, let's see, use this entity data command to make him invisible. And then all we see now is the diamond block. It looks like a floating diamond block. And so that's the gist of how you do it. And you can pose the diamond block, rotate it around by using the same pose feature, just to pose the head. So if I pose the head with this command, uh, I can do 45, 45, 45, and it'll be this in like a different orientation. And so that's how I did all the blocks for the blast mining sculpture over here. Um, the TNT here, these are all, I guess I could have just used regular blocks for these, but these are all actually armor stands, uh, armor stands with TNT blocks on their head. And it, uh, yeah, basically the game will render any block on the armor stand's head. And so you can get floating blocks like that and you can put them in any, any position. Uh, the home home plate here has kind of a floating snow, uh, snow layer block on an armor stand's head. And that's how I did the home plate. And this one over here is just a fireball. Uh, this is not an armor stand. And I guess the last thing I want to show you is uh, how to do the creeper. So, I mean, you could see how I could position the the sword, right? Or basically, if I turned the armor stand invisible here and took away the chest plate and the head, you would just see the sword floating right there. I could pose the arm until it's in the right rotation and then teleport the armor stand around by small increments until it's in just the right position. And that's how I, that's exactly how I did the sword on Etho's back and also the sword in Gude's left hand. Um, the creeper over here, uh, this is not an armor stand, this is actually a creeper. Uh, the way I did that, again, very simple, summon creeper, need the three tildes, and then just no AI colon one in the brackets. And you have a creeper, and he can't move. In fact, if I summoned it way up here, he's not gonna fall or anything, and he'll just stand there. You can like hit him and damage him. In fact, if I grab a flint and steel, can even like cause him to explode but but he's not going to move and that's so that's how i did this this part of the sculpture anyway hopefully you found this kind of useful or interesting i think the sculpture there's a lot of potential for sculptures i've seen a lot of stuff on reddit that looks really really cool and um yeah i, I mean you could even use this for to do animations by doing all of the posing and teleporting and stuff with command blocks and so you can make like full animations in a really cool style, I think. And that'd be, that'd be pretty neat. Anyway, uh, hopefully you learned something. That's about it. Thanks for watching.